What's going on guys? So today, tonight, this morning actually, we left at uh, 11 p.m. last night because we have a 14 hour drive to get to Salina, Kansas for the Salina Crossroads Marathon, Half Marathon, and they have a 4.1 uh, or 4.2K. So that's an interesting distance. Uh, I'm not, I'm still not feeling all that great with my hip, but I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to do the half marathon. It's not gonna be anything crazy. As per norm for myself, which is disappointing because I don't like doing these videos where I'm struggling, but this is gonna be a video where, you know, my expectations are lower because I'm just trying to go out there and finish it, which is a lot of my races, but uh, right now we are in this car right here that is a uh, tesla and it takes a little bit longer to uh, drive drive uh, distance with a tesla this is the first road trip we've taken with it so it's gonna take 14 hours if we would take a regular gas vehicle it would have took us about 11 hours uh, so right now we're waiting about 25 minutes to charge up the car so we get to our next charging station but yeah, uh, this is the road trip right now. We're in Oklahoma. We, uh, we are in Southeast Texas. So we drove all the way across Texas through Dallas. Now we're in Oklahoma and still got a little bit more to go. And this is just the road trip there. So enjoy. <laughs> So we are stopped here for charging again and check out the weather. There's a storm that we're going to be heading right into. So hopefully it doesn't get bad. If there's hail, I'm going to have to find some cover. If there's a tornado, I'm going to poop my pants. But uh, let me show you. Let me show you all the, the, how the clouds are looking. They're looking pretty ominous. We have Tony Morales. There's no Tony. Hey. What's what, what's the uh, current situation? It's about to rain in about five minutes, and you get eight minutes to charge. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna make old Willie unplug it? Yep. <laughs> and then we have Willie in the back. Hey guys, it suddenly dropped in temperature really quickly, so I ended up putting a jacket. Hopefully we beat this weather. No tornadoes, that's all I care. If it rains, it's fine. No hail, no, no tornadoes. Knock on wood. Right here. I'm Tiffany Benin. I work for Visit Salina and I want to welcome you to Visit Salina. Salina is a community of about 50,000 people. Um, we draw from the region and we have so much to do and see here and uh, we really value our visitors that come visit us and they love things like sports. They love our culture. We have a whole bunch of art. We just had six new gigantic murals installed in downtown Salina. This is Salina's first hopefully inaugural uh, marathon, the Salina Crossroads Marathon. And um, we have over 780 people registered to run in the marathon. Um, it's not just the marathon, you can also run a half marathon or a 4.01K mar um, run. Um, and there's music stations throughout, um, just fun for the family um, to come and enjoy Salina. So many things to do, and again, so many great places to eat, so many great places to stay. Um, it should just be a really fun atmosphere, and so excited just to have so many people in town um, for this great event. All right, guys, so I just met with the ladies over there, the Visitors Convention Bureau, and they told me that the name of the city is pronounced Salina, not Salina. So it's Salina, and that's where we're gonna go. And now we're gonna pick up our race packet. So let's go. My name is Daniel Craig, and I'm one of the co-race directors for the Salina Crossroads Marathon here in Salina, <laughs> Kansas. And Chris Lahecka and I started planning about two years ago. Ran in high school and then ran in 
cross country and track and field in college and just really enjoyed road racing and we wanted to bring a you know quality race USA track and field certified race to Salina. So what was the most like difficult part of doing this race then, of planning this race? Yeah, we've been really fortunate the city of Salina has been extremely helpful in helping us design a what we think will be a flat, fast and fast course. Um, we did get it USA Track and Field certified, so there's a lot that goes into that process. They actually have to come and ride over the course, plot all their measurements, then they come right over the course, plot all the measurements again, and then it gets sent off to a regional certifier. So I think developing a really good course is probably one of the most challenging things. So is this one of the first marathons in Salina? Salina's had a couple of marathons in the past. This is actually the first USA Track and Field certified um, in Boston qualifying marathon. All right, so just picked up our packets, talked to the RD, talked to the visitors and convention bureau people, and I'll show you what I got inside the packet in a little bit, because right now we're going to the hotel and going to get some recipes. We just did a pretty much a 12 hour drive. We left at 11 o'clock and it's like two o'clock right now. What, what is that even? I don't even know how many hours, but it's a long time. So we're gonna get to the hotel, rest, and probably get something to eat later on to uh, carb up for tomorrow. All right guys, made it here to our hotel. Let's do a little room tour. I know it's special. This is called the La Quinta Inn of Salina. So here's our beds. Boom, fancy, fancy. It's a little lumpy. The other bed, TV, desk, and let's check out our view. Oh my goodness, how lucky are we? We get a view of McDonald's. That's our view right there. Beautiful, beautiful Salina. So actually we did go around Salina a little bit. We drove over here and it's a nice little town. So excited to uh, explore it tomorrow during our run. Uh, for the half marathon, it's one loop. The marathon is going to be two loops. So we'll get to explore it. So let's uh, check out what I got at the expo. Let's go ahead and open up everything. This is the stuff that I got at the expo. Let's see, this is a towel, a little sweat towel. Crossroads Salina Marathon, pretty cool. All right, got this. This is some paraphernalia, what's the right word? Some stuff, that they give some giveaways from a business, a little, I give you the rock with my fanny pack. Got some other stuff in here. What else? Got the shirt. Let's, we'll save the shirt for last. Got some more papers that I'm just gonna throw away. A water bottle, free cone at Freddy's. What is this? This is Pinole Blue, Born to Run. Or a Atole Blend. I guess it's like, I haven't read the book Born to Run, but I know that they ate this as fuel. So it says mix with 16 ounces of water. So this is cool. I'll have to try that and do a review of that. I'm actually interested in that. You got a tape measure. These are fun. These are snap and lock bib fasteners. So actually we didn't need to get our, our, our uh, safety pins. We just could have used this. There's actually a lot of stuff in here. What is this? This is pain relieving gel. You guys know I'm dealing with some hip pain. So I'll be using this probably tonight. Got some lip balm, got some luggage tags. Man, there's a lot of good stuff in here. What else? You got a stress ball. Probably use this during the half marathon. Got a mint. Probably need that right now. It's been a long drive. Got this. This is a, a pin that says visitsalina.org. You guys check that out. Salina, Kansas. And got a pencil right here. This is another visitsalina.org pencil. Finally, we got the t-shirt. So this is the shirt. It is a t-shirt, cotton quality. And this is, I got an extra large because I am extra large nowadays. They have this and they have that on the back. So that's that. After this, we're going to probably go find some place to eat. There's some, there's a good Italian restaurant that we're going to go check out in a little bit. Where's my bib? Oh, oh, one more thing. A bib, 232. We made it here to 
the restaurant and uh, we're going to ask Tony how he thinks he's going to do tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to try and beat five hours. I have some issues with my uh, Achilles, right Achilles, uh, my back. I'm 68 years old and uh, I just want to beat Willie. Come on. What's your goal, Willie? I don't know why Tony always has to challenge me in the marathon. He has beaten me in every full marathon we've done. But I have beaten him, him in every ultra marathon we competed against. My goal, unlike Tony, is just to finish and not hurt myself. This is going to be my 48th uh, full marathon. And I'm excited to do this at a new uh, state. And, and this is the first time doing this marathon ever. All right, so for my goal you know, for this race, uh, I'm ready to eat this pasta that I'm going to get. Actually, I got pizza. I got pizza. Willie got some pasta, and Tony got pasta as well. But for this race, I just want to just have some fun. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit injured. My hip is, is bothering me, so uh, I'm going to see what I can do out there and just may basically have fun. So I think two, sub three. Sub three. It's a good goal. Uh, it'll be cold tomorrow, so I'll have to run a little bit to warm up, but uh, I'm going to have to go out there and just have some fun. Here's my St. Louis style pizza I got right there. Tony got the tilapia, if y'all see that. Looks good. And some penne. Well, they got the pesto. All right, I got the St. Louis style pizza. It's like a very thin, crackery type of pizza. I think I've seen Dave Portnoy eat this. I feel like cracker thin pizza. This is the one you want to get. Very cheesy. All right, so just got done with Bertinelli's. It is freezing cold. It's like somewhere in the 30s. We're just gonna check out the city of Salinas. Salinas? Salinas, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go check out the city of Salinas and see what's up and down this main street. We're gonna see it tomorrow, but today we wanna check it out a little bit before we uh, call it a night and go inside and warm up. It's, it's, it's pretty cold. All right, guys, so I am ready for tomorrow. We did stop by Goodwill. I bought this shirt. It was half off, so this is a uh, long sleeve shirt that I'm gonna wear because tomorrow's gonna be cold. Let's go ahead and ask Google, how cold will it be tomorrow? Okay, Google, how cold will it be tomorrow? Expect a low of 39 degrees. Yeah, so it looks like at race start, it's gonna be 34 degrees and then warm up to about 41 degrees to 45 degrees. So pretty cold tomorrow. See right there, 39 degrees tomorrow. So it'll be pretty cold tomorrow. So I'll have that. I also have some hand warmers. Remember we're from Texas, not from Kansas. So this is cold weather to us. I'll have gloves and everything else. But that's gonna be pretty much it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna actually take a nap, fall asleep because we haven't taken a nap today. We've just been driving eating, picking packets, you guys saw all that. I guess hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you guys tomorrow when I'm gonna run the, or walk, run or walk, do something at the Salinas Half Marathon. Peace.